it's Shikara and it's that time again. It's time for my five favorites Friday. So if you're interested, keep watching. First off, I'm going to start off with something that you guys probably can already see and that is my tag. I finally have a little bit of color on my super pale skin because guys, you know, I am a walking ghost. And this is all thanks to Vita Liberate. They are Fantastic, they gave me a spray tan and it was actually my first ever spray tan. So I'm excited to finally have a little bit of color on my skin this summer. I don't have to be scared or embarrassed to bare my legs. So hopefully the color shows up, but I have a gorgeous sun-kissed golden color to my skin and it's very, very natural. You know, it looks like my skin, just how I would look if I had been spending a week in the sun or two weeks in the sun if you have my skin. So yes, I'm really loving the color and apparently it's going to develop a little bit more over the next two days. So we'll see how it looks and obviously I'm going to take some photos and I'm going to put a whole blog post up. So keep an eye on the blog because I will be doing a full review on the brand. The Revlon Gel and the Nail Polishes. I've really been enjoying these. I've probably posted about them a couple of times and well, the reason why I really like these is mainly because they last on my nails. I painted my nails the pink color about, yeah, I painted it on Saturday and today's Thursday. So it's lasted chip free. There's been no, there's been no wear or tear. There's really just, you know, a perfect manicure already still a couple days later. So that's the longest a manicure's ever lasted on me. So obviously I'm loving these. So if you guys don't know, these make your nails look like you've had a gel manicure. So you paint your nails with the base color and this has a base coat in it and then on top of that you'll put your top coat and the top coat is what gives your nails the appearance of a gel polish. So it's a little bit more glossy, a little bit more shiny and looks more like a gel polish. So, and obviously it was supposed to last longer than a normal polish and I've experienced that. I really have and I've got a couple of shades and you'll be seeing me wearing them a lot more because I'm loving the fact that they are lasting on my nails. If you guys have been on the blog recently, then you've probably seen my gosh review and you've seen this mascara. This is the Boombastic Mascara and I've just been loving it. It's very, very light on my lashes. It doesn't clump, it doesn't look thick, it just feels very natural. Like my lashes, but just with like a little lick of mascara. It's after just one coat, I find that it really lengthens and it gives a nice appearance of longer lashes. So I definitely think that this will be on a permanent list of mine to always be using because I think it just achieves fantastic results with it. It's not, like I said, it's not clumping, it's easy to remove, I don't find any fallout from it, it lasts on my lashes, it leaves them looking very natural, they really are just my lashes but better. So definitely love this and this is definitely going on a must carry on purchasing list. Wednesday I attended an Olif event and this is the first time I've been introduced to the brand and it was such an interesting event because what they did was something that I've never seen before. They took the actual products and created the food we were eating with those products. So all the little hors d'oeuvres we were nibbling on were made using the products which is crazy in my opinion. I mean there were like hors d'oeuvres using the foot balm, the face oils and the reason for this was to show everybody how natural their products are. So there's nothing nasty in their stuff. Their, their stuff is all natural and it's organic and it's just, it is goodness for your skin and to, well, you can eat it as well. So I really enjoyed eating the products. So now I'm going to try out the actual products and I've been using the olive, um, the natural olive hand wax and I think this is great for if you have problems with the cuticles. So I've been liking for that. I've, I've used it once already today and I really enjoyed it. So that's why I'm adding it to the list of favorites because so far so good and we'll see how it goes. But so far I'm really, really liking this. And then last but certainly not least, we have the new L'Oreal Collection Exclusive Lipsticks. If you guys don't know, these are the lipsticks that were paired with the celebrity. So celebrity chose their favorite red and then that was their color. So they've got their names on it. 
in their handwriting, I would assume. And I just love the packaging as well. So these reds are matte and there are so many different shades. You'll find anything for your skin tone. And I've been loving Letitia. Letitia is a beautiful color. When you first look at it, it looks very, very dark and it almost doesn't look wearable or at least for somebody like myself. But when you actually put it on your lips, it's a beautiful wine color, you know, that berry wine. And it is quite dark, a lot darker than I would usually wear, but very, very wearable nonetheless. And it will be beautiful for me to time. But I'm enjoying it right now. And I think with just, you know, a little bit of a winged out liner and then obviously the color on your lips, it's stunning. It's, it really is beautiful. And it, it might be matte, but it's not drying at all. It feels very creamy and soft on my lips. It hasn't dried out at all and I just I, I, I can't really find anything to fault on these I really have been enjoying them I will obviously be putting up a more detailed post because I also have the Eva shade and just to let you guys know a little bit more about them so yes keep your eye out for these because they're very affordable and definitely worth trying so that's it guys um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I decided to film a video this time I know my last post I just did the normal written way so let me know which way you prefer and I will carry on with that. So I enjoy filming them, but I also enjoy writing them. So yes, just let me know. And thanks as usual for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, bye.